Hello, and welcome to the Terrace Kitchen with Pixel's Mom. Today, I'm going to be making an awesome vegan pineapple fried rice. For this recipe, you are going to need the following. You're going to need two tablespoons of coconut oil, one small red onion, three cloves of garlic, one teaspoon tablespoon of fresh ginger, a half teaspoon of crushed red pepper, that is optional, one cup or so of carrots, one and a half cups of pineapple chunks, three cups of cooked rice, chilled, a half a cup of green onions for the actual rice and a few for the top, some tamari, gluten-free tamari, three tablespoons, one and a half teaspoons of curry powder. Now I do not have curry powder and it is allowed to use Chinese five spice as a substitute. So that is what I'm going to be using. And you will also need a half a cup of frozen peas and salt and pepper to taste. Our first step is going to be to add the two tablespoons of coconut oil to a medium heat pan. If you don't have coconut oil, you can substitute it for your own type of oil that you wish to use. Olive oil, regular oil, depending on what your, your choice is. I personally do like to cook with coconut oil. Once you've added the coconut oil, you're going to add the onions in. And we're going to saute them until they become pretty soft and a little translucent. It should take about four to five minutes to get them to a nice saute that we'd like. Now that our onions have started to cook, we're going to add our fresh ginger. Our garlic. And our carrots. And we are also going to add our red pepper flakes. As I said, this is optional, but I tend to like things a little on the spicy side. So I tend to add that. And then we are going to saute this for an additional seven to 10 minutes until the carrots start to get a little softer. Okay, our carrots in combination have been stir-frying for about seven to eight minutes now. The carrots are becoming slightly tender now. And here's just a tip that I wanted to share with you to keep your veggies from sticking in the pan, is to add a splash of vegetable broth. If for some reason they just seem to be getting a little too dry, it'll help keep it moist while it's sauteing. Next, we're gonna add our pineapple chunks and continue to saute this for an additional four to five minutes or until they are lightly browned. Now that our pineapples have sauteed for an additional four to five minutes, it's time to add the tamari and the five, five spice that I ended up stirring together, which was meant to be combined at the beginning of the video. I'm going to be adding that to our recipe now. And then we are also going to be adding our rice peas and our green onions at this time. Now this recipe does recommend that you do the rice ahead of time because it is recommended that it be completely chilled in the refrigerator for an amount of time before you actually use it in the actual stir fry. And I'm going to also add the peas and the green onions. 
I did take some of the green onions out to put them aside to put on top once everything has already thoroughly cooked. And then we would incorporate all of this together and let it saute for an additional four to six minutes on the stove. Make sure you combine this all very well so the sauces and everything all are mixed in. Alrighty, our rice has been completely fried, all combined. It looks amazing. It smells wonderful. I got a little bit of salt and pepper on it. I'm going to add the remainder of the green onions for just for presentation because I think it'll make it taste good and look good. And then I'm going to give it a try and see how it comes out. Let's plate some up in here to a bowl and give it a try. Get a little bit of those green onions on there. And we'll see how it comes out. You can, however, if you choose, to top this with cashews and cilantro. I unfortunately do not have either one of them, so I'm choosing not to today. It is an optional topping, though. All right, well, let's get a little bite of everything and see how it tastes. Well, I must say, I'm very impressed. Um, it does not have the exact flavor as your Chinese takeout rice would have, but it has amazing, amazing flavor. Great texture. Not as salty, which is a good thing. I think it may have needed a little bit of that broth, chicken broth to give it just a little bit more moisture, but I overall think it was really good. I think this video was a success. The rice tastes amazing, and I'm looking forward to having it for supper tonight. I want to thank you all so much for coming and joining me, and I hope you look forward to seeing future videos from me. Please leave me a like and a comment, and let me know what you think. Give it a try. Maybe change it up a little. Maybe adding shrimp would have been a good idea. Anything is possible with recipes. You all have a great night, and you take care now.